Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folani. Um, my guest this morning, I got Ken Okulubo. He's a former commissioner in Delta State. He's a politician. He's a political affairs analyst, and his sympathies lie with the PDP. Good morning. You're very welcome. It's always my pleasure, Uncle Yori. Indeed. Ken Yori will do now. No, but that's a phrase. That <laughs> without the uncle, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, it brother, doesn't go down well. Thank you very much, my brother. <laughs> and uh, Ahmed Moyosore Jaji, another politician and political affairs analyst. His sympathies lie with the APC. Thank you very much, gentlemen, Good morning. Uh, for coming Good on. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, at all. Indeed. So, um, um, well, because the APC is the ruling party, let me start with you. Just what is your sense of what is going on, talking about um, the National Assembly, talking about the warning that's been put out by Senator Lawan, the minority leader that, um, no, no, Senator, uh, Senator, Senator Lawan, that, hang on, guys, let's be aware so that there shall not be a government shut down. And the way we're going, we could be heading for that. Uh, and then the drama that has ensued following that. Give me your sense of what exactly is going on. Oh, uh, well, it's a... Uh sense of drama portending doom, if not handled with care and dexterity. Uh, because if you are talking of shutdown, what do we mean by shutdown? That means all governmental activities will be put in abeyance. We don't usually talk about a shutdown here. You hear about it more in the US, but where know, they see that as a result of some economic aspect, they'll be a... We've successfully cloned American <laughs> system of government, even if you are not practicing it the way they are practicing it over there. Okay. But you know, uh, the way things are, we have less than 200 days to the federal elections. And the executive placed before the National Assembly some supplementary budgets to take care of the election. They have not been attended to. Which, and unfortunately, the same day, the Senate president read the letter from the president. That was the same day uh, the Senate adjourned for till September 25th. So if care is not taken, if that issue is not taken care of, and May God forbid it, we are unable to get the necessary wherewithal mm. to prosecute the election. Who will be blamed? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's not a matter of blaming now. Who bears the cat at the end of the day? It's so, really the masses. So there's a lot of stuff to be tidied up, Ken, uh, following the defections galore. Um, well, of course, one of those questions out there is, can Senate President Bukola Saraki retain his you know, seat in the Senate? Well, no, he can retain his seat, but that... that you know, being voted by his colleagues, uh, Senate President, can that continue now that he's not in the ruling party? That is also part of all of this, no doubt. But if, if you look at it, you look at it holistically speaking, uh, why do I say this? There are three, three main issues here. You're talking about a shutdown. What shutdown are we talking about? When the President bought the Tucano aircrafts, the 12 aircrafts, he paid the $426 million with our records to the National Assembly. He did not, we did not say he embezzled the money. Even because Donald, didn't even Donald Trump money. made it clear that Be, because they, they he sold, didn't, uh, yes, uh, they, uh, sold, the money. they sold the aircraft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but it was, embezzlement doesn't it come was, into the it whole was, equation. It was a matter of necessity. Yeah, he acted on necessity. So if we're talking about one sixty-four billion dollars that he's looking for in terms of, he didn't talk of supplementary point of correction. He talked about environment. environment. Uh -huh. If he talked about supplementary, it would have been okay. He's talking about environment at this critical time. Why can't he act like he acted on the issue of the Tucano aircraft? Why the hurry in trying to reconvene the National Assembly when we are buying forms to go for primary elections? Every senator and every member of House of Representatives is most likely going to want to come back. And the, <laughs> the guidelines have come out, for example, for my party, PDP. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the sale of forms starts, started on Saturday. And that goes on to when you go on to the screening and you talk of going for the primaries, which starts from September 17th. What am I saying here? The, 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 the Senate went to the recess because they needed to go to the, their constituencies to go and lobby the delegates for the, for the purpose of getting elected again as a candidate of their parties, irrespective of if you're a PDP or if you're APC. So why the hula balo about calling back the National Assembly? Okay. And then again, don't forget that the Senate President, in his wisdom, has said we're having a meeting today. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a meeting with the uh, leader of the, of, of the Speaker of the House of Reps. Mm -hmm. And after then, they will have a meeting with INEC. Mm -hmm. You see, let me tell you the truth about it. We are politicians. We always like to garnish 
when we have when we have matters on the on the tone, we like to garnish it and make it look like we have a genuine cause. The hula balo about the National Assembly reconvening is all because of the defection of the Senate president. And I don't see why, this goes to your question, I don't see why we are so bothered about the defection of the Senate president. When Tambua defected in 2014, he remained the speaker. The APC was a minority in, in that case. Section 52 of the uh, Constitution clearly spells out how a Senate president should be removed. He can only be removed by two third majorities of the members of the Senate. But in electing a Senate president, a simple majority <laughs> is what we need. So APC can never have the numbers to remove Saraki, so they should perish that thought. Okay. Uh, so that yes, they should perish that thought. Yes. You see, whether environment or whatever, mm -hmm. the first thing remains that the man said there are some elements you introduce into my budget that was presented to you constituency projects and whatever. They are extraneous to the function of, what do you call it, the legislature. Okay, since we have a need for this amount of money to be expended or election that involves me and you, this is the budget. And you see, you needed to, to see the Senate president, his body language, the day he was reading the election. It was, you know, I mean, you can replay it if you have it. The body language shows somebody that was, you know, not at ease with himself. And what, we are, what, what are we talking about? We are talking of national interest. And he spoke about Tukano. Tukano, I can tell you for free today that there, were, there was a very, very informal meeting between the Senate President, the House, uh, uh, the House of Rep Speaker, and the Presidency, where this thing was mooted. And they said, oh, we, we are giving... Uh, this uh, former Dr. Chuba Kadibo, whatever, conditional approval. But because we want to play politics with anything in Nigeria, when they got to the public, they, they were saying they, something they, else. They, 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 and this to kind of whether Donald Trump agreed that it was okay or not, the first thing remains that the president should have formally requested the National Assembly for the approval. But informally, they had met. Mm -hmm. And we are talking of people of mm -hmm. the same party mm -hmm. in court. Exactly. Of mm -hmm. the same party in court. Mm -hmm. But when they got to the public, they, they sold a different idea altogether that the president had exceeded his powers of you know, spending. You cannot spend the cover of the national money national, from the national treasury without the approval of the... And that was what they were hanging on hanging on that uh, we have the power to appropriate, where well, you don't appropriate outside your function. So the National, uh, the National Assembly reconvening today, they are not doing anybody any favor. Okay. You know, well, they are minute. not doing anybody okay. any favor. Well, one moment. Uh, uh, um, Mr. Ladeji from Joss. Good morning. Good morning, Uncle Yori. How are you today? Good morning, ma'am. Oh, uh, and uh, good morning to your guest there. Yeah. Thank you for calling in. Please. I want to beg you for something. Sure. Eh? Forget about all this nonsense that is going on. <laughs> Don't even disturb yourself about these people. They are a national nuisance and a disgrace to Nigeria. Please contribute to us meaningfully by enlightening us how to use our votes rightly so that this nuisance do not come back. Not even one of them. They are a serious <laughs> national embarrassment, internationally and locally. Wow. Please don't even talk about them. Wow. Talk to us. Let us know how we are going to use our food correctly so that even one of them don't even come back. Oh. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you very much, Madam Oladeji. <laughs> well, you, you apparently opened the lines early today. Uh -huh. Uh, yes. you, you got a problem with that? No, I don't have a problem. Uh -huh. I, was, I was, I mean, I've always been on this program. But yeah. It's opened so early today. Well, because so, so, but some, you some see, you see, like I, would, I would want to educate her. She shouldn't say that in news ends. If, if some people have a problem uh, in a national assembly, we shouldn't come and generalize a national assembly as a bunch of news ends. I, 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 I beg to disagree. But in the national what assembly, are, there what are members what, of all parties. What, what, there. Yes, what we are talking so, about is that there is politicking going on. Mm. And you must accept the fact that the ruling party is under pressure because of the the camp, I mean, the amount of senators that decamped in a day, whether you like it or not, if you're a ruling party, it, it gives a cause to worry. And so they are worried about those that are decamping, and they're also poaching. That thing is so dynamic. And they're also poaching, so, so that they can that get people a, to come and fro. And also, Don't yes. Don't forget, because <laughs> that's what they, I said, I said that also poaching. Under pressure. You know, I think are, all the political parties no, right now. You know why they're under pressure? As a political because, scientist, I, I, I said, 
no, it's a political just, just, just let me, let, just let me go on with the floor. By no, just let me go on with the floor because okay. you had your floor. You see, what I'm trying to say here is the ruling party is the one in power. Yes. So if the other people are on the ground, they are the ones on top. If they fall, they will scatter. If the ones on ground fall, they will get up. That is how it is seen. So they are under pressure because they want to sustain power, which is only normal, and I give it to them. They have to sustain power. And in sustaining power, what are the measures that you're going to use in sustaining power? How can you lead your number three, your number three citizen to another political party? Nobody will take that. But, but he has, has gone. Has, has he ever been a member of the You are not allowing me, APC? you are not allowing me gone with my the man you the... have your flaw. Okay. You okay. have your flaw. Let me just make my point okay. very clear. When you have your flaw, you can make those points. The fact remains that Saraki left the PDP in 2014 and joined the APC and got elected as an APC senator and got elected as a senior president under the uh, flag of the APC banner. And that's a, that's a fact. I don't know whether he has been a member or he has not been a member, <laughs> but he has been a member of APC. And so when you're, you lose your senior president, it's not enough for you to now go beyond what the constitution says or outside the constitution in trying to unseat him. Okay. You overheat the polity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Uh, they are overheating I, 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 the polity. Yeah, well, this, this, and this, it, it is. Is, this speculation is about is, going beyond the constitution, <laughs> at the moment, is when I say right. When I say they're overheating Please. the polity, mm -hmm. when I say they're overheating oh, the polity, I am saying it clearly because <laughs> what is happening today, the DSS taking over the gates of the National Assembly and denying and, uh, National Assembly workers from gaining access into their office, is that what we should be presenting to the international community, Yori? Okay. Uh, Mr. Adeola, in uh, uh, Palm Grove. Quality. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Mr. Yori. Thank, Thank you for calling. Hello? Uh, hello, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, you see, there are so many lot of things that, that is happening in Nigeria today that we think it is right, which is not right. Can you people hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. The thing is, Bukola Taraki has been in the government house for Quara for eight years. He brought another person for another eight years. Quara today, nothing has been happening in Quara today. He left there for eight years. If you go to Offa, there's nothing there. You go to Ajase, nothing there. Go to Oro. There's nothing, no presence of government in those places. And those are the little, little towns you can find, that you can get to, you see, the presence of government. You go to Okioni Beno, you can't find any presence of government there. You go to Mwaro, system thing. I don't know what the man is doing. I don't know his problem. Even the present people that, the present governor that is there now, he did nothing. They're keeping us salvaging the uh, Quara money. And the people in Quara looking at him, watching at him, doing nothing. He came back to the president of Senate again, still doing the same thing, holding the, 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 the president, president to ransom. We all see all what they are doing. We are waiting for them. Mm. We are waiting for them. We are watching them. All right, then. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Adeola, for calling in. Um, yes. Um, yeah, you see, I'm oh, yeah. from Kwara. And I, fortunately, I grew up in Kwara. I had my primary education in Kwara, Ilori, Baboku. I had my university education in Ilori, University of Ilori. And my family is firmly rooted in Ilori. I remember when the present Senate president was to be made the governor of Kwara State. Uh, Elijah Aliko Dangote and some money bags of his age group, the likes of Femi Otedola, they went to his father to assist him. And we were applauding because this is a yuppie. This is somebody that has been in, in the corporate world. We believe with the connection of Aliko and the rest, he will bring something tangible to the state. But that's not the the kennel of our discussion no, this morning. No, it isn't. It isn't. What we are saying is that for anybody to say that APC is under pressure, it's not it. Because the, in the 2014 or 2013, when they were decamping from the PDP to the APC, they caught the PDP napping with their pants down. They were surprised. But in this instance, it has been expected all along. I remember there was a time I was on this same seat. I refer to them as NPDP. You say no. I said no. I'm still insisting. 
and to God be the glory, they've confirmed what uh, we are taught all along. They had never been part of the APC uh, mm. regime. Mm -hmm. Though they, mm -hmm. they got to where they are mm -hmm. because on the platform of APC. So we should get that one very, very straight. From day one, uh, on the June, uh, uh, night of June 2015, I was in Abuja when the National Assembly was to be, you know, uh, convened. We knew all what happened, how some people slept in the car park and whatever. But when you got there, that was where I parted way with Bukola Saraki. Okay. Uh, what, what, the party what, said, this what, is what we want. Yeah. What is the essence of a party striving to have majority yeah. in the mm. national legislature mm. is to have seamless, mm. you know, uh, cohabitation uh, with the uh, national legislature uh, uh, so uh, that uh, uh, you have your, all sure. your promises sorry, so, will sorry be for interrupt, uh, articulated and executed. Uh, okay. they, they refuse to. Ken, Ken allow was us. saying that he, the, the ruling party, is under pressure Never. because of uh, what is going on. Never. You, 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 you know, you rebut that that it can't be because first of all, it's been well known. I don't know. The ruling party itself has said that um, you know now we have a sense of relief. Now, now, now the air is a lot cleared. Uh, now we can get on with the whole business of governance. Which the grain has been, the have been separated and from the chaff. Some people have used the expression separating the uh, wheat from the chaff. Yes. Um, but before we go further, I'm sure you want to come in on that, Ken. Let me take Joe, who is calling in from the UK. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Yuri. Thank you very much for calling in. And good morning to our guests in the studio. Thank you. Good morning. I just want to ask just one question. <laughs> Why is it that the president or the presidency did not find it very important to include this very bill into his budget? Or is it of a sudden that he knows that the election is going to take place in next 10 or 11 months? Why don't he include it in his in budget? We do everything in the head. Why don't he include it in the budget? That's my question. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I want to ask him. Why is it so sudden? Can I answer? Oh, oh, okay. That's my question. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Joe. You, you, you wanted to take a stab at that particular question before yes. I go to Ken? Yes. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not uh, the government spokesman, Alaji Lai Mohammed, but I can hazard a guess. For the purposes of environment. We, we, we know that the, this budget was submitted to the National Assembly in November 2017. And when did, when did they, they brought it back about two months ago, before the president assented to it. Now, most of these things, if you don't bring your estimates, what you need to the presidency, it might not be possible for it to be included in the national budget. And there's no law that states that after the budget has been passed, you cannot bring in supplementary mm, whatever. Mm, mm. That was exactly what the president did. And I see no reason why we should make any okay. heavy weather Besides, of that. Besides, the definition of environment, you know, is such as it is. Um, okay. No, the truth, about it, the truth about it is that that caller was apt. The, the, the time table came out about six months ago. We all knew that elections were going to take place in February. And the INEC chairman was very clear. He was clear on the fact that what they wanted to do, the process they wanted to carry out was such that Every year from 2019, we already know when the next election will take place in 2023. You saw the timetable that was released. And that was the first time in history that was taking place in the history of our elections in Nigeria. And so if you knew that elections were taking place even before your budget was uh, put to place, whatever environment you have, I, I've been a commissioner. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I had a budget. I and, prepared and budget. I was the chief executive of... You're always interrupting me. I have the floor. I don't even interrupt you when you talk. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I always like my programs to flow. I've been a, a commissioner and I have a budget. And when, I have, when we have issues, we call, we call for environment and we send you to the state's House of Assembly. When you call for environment, you call your speaker, you call your senior president, and you say, look, I have environment, I have concerns here. It's very normal. And the concerns I have is, I have a body and we must go on with the elections. I need 242 billion. Just like what Saraki is doing today. He's calling the speaker. He's calling an informal meeting of the principal officers. And he's calling INEC so they can put their heads together. That's what you do as a nation. Okay. What do we do about it? How do we go forward? Uh, I'm not trying to make it look like the man is refusing to reconvene. I'm not holding brief for Saraki here. I'm mm -hmm. only going with the law. Mm -hmm. What the law says. Mm -hmm. So that we can have peace. Even I if we have to have elections. Of your party. Oh, yes. Do you um, uh, in um, uh, Lekki, I believe. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Just like, uh, I, uh, good morning to your guest, too. Morning. Yeah, just like uh, your guest in Kappa said at that time, I'm from Kwara, too. 
And one will not believe that Kwara State has been in existence before, uh, uh, before Osho. If you go to Osho today, the level of development is uh, unprecedented Fantastic. when you compare with that of Kwara. Ofa is the second developed town after a law in Kwara State. A road that's supposed to take you 20 to 30 minutes from a to Ofa. You will spend not less than four hours when you, when, you, when you apply the road today now. Saraki has done nothing, nothing to, to, to be proud of as an indigenous of Kwara. And you will see his last end this time around because he has always been enjoying the power of the federal government to rig election in Kwara State. Uh -huh. You will use the state's machinery, the state security act to do well, all well, now, well, 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 Mr. Oyeyemi, Mr. Oyeyemi, uh, where's the proof for all those things you are saying? Oh, what happened? We all you know, know how we do and here. Those, oh. the, the, those that were arrested for Amropi Nova also <laughs> confirmed this, that they used to rig election for him in, in his uh, constituency. <laughs> okay, let's, so just stay, can, let's just stay with what can be proved. Uh, so his head has come and you see, you see what is going to happen in Kwara State this time around. All because right. you will not be able to object to this machinery the way for yourself used to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I think, Thank I, you I, very I much, think, Mr. Oyeyemi. Uh, uh, we should not personalize this to Saraki. Well, we are looking at the Senate president as an institution. Uh, well, not yes, Saraki we are. as a person. So, diverting uh, well, issues to well, Quara. Well, not, I, I don't care about Quara, sorry I to know. say, because I'm not from Quara. I, I know, but... And I, I don't know I, what is happening I understand Quara. what you're saying, but so it's very, very difficult. So, if we personalize it and we're still going into Quara, it looks like somebody is holding brief for Saraki and Saraki has been a failure in Quara. Mm. That's not what we're interested in. Yes. What we're interested in is... What does the law say as well, regards your National Assembly? There is separation of power. Mm -hmm. I read political science, for example. Mm -hmm. The doctrine of separation of power gives the executive, mm -hmm. gives the legislatures, and gives the judiciary. Mm -hmm. But what we are saying today is that the executives are meddling with the institution of the legislature. Well, it, and it, 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 it is it, an aberration. It, we, are, we, are giving our, we are making ourselves a mockery to the international community because I just came in from America yesterday. I was in New York and I sat with a journalist, a very renowned journalist, I don't have to tell you his name. Mm. And he was very sad at what was happening in Nigeria. In fact, when I got talking with him in New York, I, I, I couldn't even but believe that people know so much about what is happening in oh, Nigeria. Oh, but people do. And you know, and, you, you, and you, he was, you he was to totally accept. he was totally disappointed because he said he he he, he 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 actually reported for Reuters before now, and he always saw the uh, Buhari as an opposition leader mm. who who would come in and and, and keep to the law. You see, I, I, well, we're I, not con I, I we're talking about in, we, we, we don't I, condemn I a man's integrity, saying. but let's no, keep no, to no. the law, the rule of no, law, the rule of law. Why would DSS go and block the National Assembly? What's their business in the National Assembly? What's the business of DSS in the National Assembly? Well, the Why DS are they stopping senators from going to their well, office? The, 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 the DSS was there. When we see what there, is wrong, the let DSS us say wrong. The DSS was there, but... What, was, but, what is their business? Nigerians should be able to they condemn out, some right? certain things. Something happened, they cleared out. No, but they eventually allowed the senators yes, to go into yes, the, yes, into the yes, premises. Yes, but they've not yes, gotten yes, access yes. to their office. Now, uh, Ken... Why not we say what is wrong? It's wrong. Well, what you are saying, I... I, I come along with every, I come along with everything you say, but, but you can't lose sight of the fact that there is a, a, a real big schism within APC vis-a-vis uh, -vis how the Senate president came into office single-handedly against the total will of his entire party. He, 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 he slammed them. <laughs> he slammed them. They slammed. And at the time, they slammed. Once beating, they slammed. And at the time, why did they go to the? Why did they go to the international conference center? Oh, 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 now you are talking. Now you are talking. Now you are talking. The man, the man casting on it. Now you are talking. So you can come and on say it. separation of powers, he on it. and the people will not be waiting. And the people pushed him up there because at the end of the day, we are all people. The beauty of what was the crime he committed is that I also read political science. One moment, please. One moment. Somebody is trying to has been trying to get in. Uh, and that's Prince in Lecky. Okay, Prince, Lecky, yeah. throw your hat yeah. in the ring as well. Today is really yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing your conversation. Good morning to all you all. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice uh, uh, uh -huh. argument you have there. The thing is not as simplistic as, as my brother Ken is making it. I, that I understand. Separation of he power. Of, uh, uh, he didn't something. come, yeah, he didn't bring the origin. Focus, focus. Huh? Focus, focus. Yes. They call them, they should call them toma, to, tomatoes. Who? Tomatoes House of Assembly. Comatoes. Comatoes House of Assembly. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Why do I call them this? I wonder why. I wonder. Oh, see, who, who among them are talking national about national. how do we get 24 hours power? Who among them all that are all, see, all of them want to go to a place where their bread are better buttered. 
Nobody is interested in Nigerians. How can we get good roads? No. No one is talking about it. It's how they can, they can be in the home of affairs mm. for their own personal gain. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested who is in PDP, who is in APC. As long as what, as, what I know about it, they are all the same. They are all the same thing. The two gentlemen that are in the studio now, tomorrow, they will be friends. After they leave the studio, they will go hang around one place. They can they never be one. enemies. That's the truth. That, that one is yeah. the truth. These so guys who are, are buddies. Are they now deceiving? Well, uh, it should be the interest of Nigerians, not your political interest in your pocket. Mm. Go mm. to the studio and discuss about how we can get road, water, power. Go and tell us this. Okay. Stop telling us how one person is moving from where to where. Move it. Is it today they are moving? Move to give us water. Move to give us road. Move to give us basic amenities that you people all fly to America and see. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, Prince, thank you very much for calling in. You know one thing that's coming out? We're going back to Mr. Uh, Madam Oye, a missed call at the beginning. Say, look, all these people, when you look at them, they're all players. She used a different word. See, they're all players. They got their that's game. That's the aspect yeah, any politician is viewed. You see? Is the, viewed the, from. The, the, and, 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 and in the midst of all of this, the sad reality. we, the supposed beneficiaries of their work, lose, lose the hindsight, the benefit we, of hindsight. We, we, we lose everything. The sad, because they're the busy sad reality, considering what side their bread is buttered on. The sad reality is that an average Nigerian has been so pauperized, made very, very ignorant of his... By who? By the same ruling class. By the, by the, the system. People, by the people we are talking about now. If I, if well, I, that would be on both sides of yeah, the aisle. I say by that the would people, be on the, both sides of the aisle. I say by the, the people we are talking about okay, now. Okay, politicians, the political class. Yes, yes. The political the class. The ruling class. Okay. Because if you say political class, mm. you are missing the point. Okay. The ruling class. All right. You can be in the private sector, public sector, uh, politics, or whatever. Now, in a situation where an average Nigerian is made to be thinking of how he exists on a daily basis, and you cannot ask me to be talking about your road now when you have elected somebody that is misrepresenting you elsewhere. You cannot blame me for that. You brought me here to analyze a problem that is germane mm -hmm. to our existence now as a nation. Mm. So for him to now accuse me of not talking about building road, it's neither here nor there. Well, well I, 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 I see what you're saying, but you know, I think the point that is being made in various ways is that Politics is not supposed to be for the individual benefit of the gentleman or lady, for that matter, yes. who has put themselves forward. Yes. It's supposed to be on behalf of the people to well, raise, who are those, who are, to raise who, the living. Who are those selling their votes? Who are those carrying the ballot boxes all over the place? They are not children of the rich. Now, one thing that seems clear, Ken. Oh, 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 well, it's, my, it's, my, it's my, a so, sociological says, problem. I'm going to come back to you. Let me go on break. I'll come back and uh, we'll look at this because it looks like we're, we're, we're nearing that stage where the Nigerian, the ordinary Nigerian, the skills are dropping from his eyes, are falling from his eyes. And now he's shining his eyes. He's seeing well, well. We, we wonder how that will all pan out. Going back to Mrs. Uh, Madame Oyeyemi's, uh, you know, comment at the top of the hour. Condemnation. Say, say, it, it's all about, look, we need to know how to use our vote wisely, effectively, so that things like, like uh, the, the drama, like sleeping in a car overnight in a particular place so that I can have a head stator, stop all of that. That's not what it's all about, but we'll be right back. Stay with us, please. Okay, welcome back. I'm um, having this interesting conversation, the dynamics going on. I think we had Professor Samuel, uh, one of the you know, chieftains, elders in the uh, APC, in last week. And he was saying that, mark my words, the political environment is going to get a lot hotter uh, as we go along that. You know, you can expect anybody got thermometers, just expect them to be going way beyond where they are. Um, well, the, the National Assembly was the breaking news this morning. Uh, blockage at the gate. In fact, as of now, in fact, that's a live picture right now, just this very second, as it is in Abuja. Uh, it seems that uh, the SSS are still manning the gates. 
uh, sort of screening. Uh, it doesn't, with, with that car there, it does look as if, um, you know, there's some sort of a, a management a screening of the gate, which is not usual. So that's ongoing. Now, Ken, I said I was going to come, come back to you. It's, it's a complicated story, what's going on. Uh, Senate President Bukola Saraki, I, I have heard from his man, um, Yusuf Olani Yonu, in, in recent past saying that um, he knows of no intention of his uh, principal to resign. That's, that's, so we sort of know that that's his frame of mind. Um, I, I don't know that um, APC will see, necessarily see it that way. That, so we now have a PDP uh, opposition man as Senate President. We have a PDP opposition man as a Deputy Senate President. Um, that's, 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 an interesting, that's an interesting calculus. But the, the, like I said before, that's what happened when we had uh, Tambua. The interesting thing that the APC need to do, if I was in the APC now, the interesting thing they need to do is to get the numbers. If they get to Ted, they'll be able to impeach Saraki. Or, and it is, easy or to is it get... totally out of the realm of conjecture that Bukola Saraki might say, well, in view of, I resign. I, I, no, I, I resign. but when you cannot get to Ted to impeach him, that means he has the power to remain there as a Senate president. Whether he, it the, is morally, whether it's morally appropriate right or, or not, not he has the power, he has the power until as, somebody comes with another device. Except we amend the constitution. Why did they say to Ted to secure that office? Because they know that, look at what is happening in the, in the state houses of assembly, where you just suspend, if you're in a house of 20, mm -hmm. you suspend it, mm -hmm. and seven will say they mm -hmm. impeach the speaker. Mm -hmm. That is, so that to is stay an aberration. There, to stay so there, to stay in there, the that is why the, that's why the constitution had to say to Ted, of course he's going to be a spoiler for the national uh, uh, ruling party, because now he's in the opposition. He wants the opposition to get into power. And the spoiler doesn't mean that he will not be a spoiler in terms of national issues, <laughs> in terms of political issues. So let us, let us try and call a spade a spade. It's very hard to separate between now, these two. I, let, I, me go I with what, what, let me go with what like Mohammed said. He said they're not missing anything. That yes. Yes. Bukola Saraki was more like an opposition yes. Senate president all, all, all the while. Maybe because he's also from Quara. I wouldn't give no. credence to that. If I should give credence to that, so many issues have traversed in the last three years in the National Assembly. Mm. And you agree that Bukola Saraki has quite shown a lot of maturity in those issues. Like, uh, the program is quite short. I can go on. The, when the issue of the Tukano we, came, he played it down. He played it really down. Okay. He played it down. Even when they wanted, okay. even when okay. uh, our senators, okay. as yeah. a then, yeah. wanted to stay it up, <laughs> you could see he played it down. Yes. And that was how the thing died a natural death. Okay. When they wanted to start coming up with the issue of impeachment. Mm. Remember, a senator stood up from uh, Edo State and wanted to. Uh, go on order 43 okay. of the Senate rules. Okay. Uh, okay. So I, I, there's so many there's issues, so many issues, issues you can, you issues can go on. Uh, so Habib, let's not just Habib bin up uh, Thank you for holding on. Good oh, morning, Habib. See. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Good morning, sir. Please go ahead. Good morning, everybody there. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, I just want to talk about Saraki. Uh, it might not be the issue you're discussing at the moment, but Saraki's defection to the People's Democratic Party is inconsequential to Buhari's ele uh, uh, election in Kwara State. Even Saraki himself might even lose his senatorial uh, uh, seat from Kwara State. There is no presence of governance here. We have seen, and everybody has been saying, I don't know what Mr. Ken wants us to do, but he's not speaking. Tilebada, uh, so I don't know, this Yoruba adage that says, <laughs> if the house is good, you know from the children. Kwara is not good. Saraki is not representing us well. And enough is enough. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Oh, uh, let, let me correct that impression. I said I'm not talking about Quara. I have no business with Quara. Yeah. I'm it, holding it, on to what the national what, issues what is going should on be. And because so I'm not from Quara State. And that. I don't know I whether that. Quara is developed yeah, it, or is not knows where developed. It exactly. So let us go with what yeah. is but, legal. But because is it legal to have the National Assembly blocked and but, you're denying but, the workers? See, but, but you see, this, because the politician, of Wolf and the man and the politician, Bukola Saraki, yes. Senator Bukola Saraki, is a central part in all of this. Is yes. why, unfortunately, is uh, I understand the distinction you're trying to make. But because Let's draw the line. Well, yeah, but you see, because all of them the line, your program will make you it look like we're talking about Quara. No, we're not talking are, about Quara here. Not, you let's not, you are let's not, the not moderator. go into Quara. You are not the okay. moderator. Oh, yeah. mm. Moyo, Moyo, Moyo. Let me tell you a simple question I asked a very senior journalist this morning about this blockade was, my friend, does it make sense to you? Uh -huh. If a, a, an executive that is desirous of these people reconvening for them to pass 
this uh, environment, environment issue, issue. Mm -hmm. will be the same government that will now prevent that them from entering me. into. Now, it's either of one or two things. It's either that there are some fifth columnists within the apparatus, security apparatus of the state that are stoking all this uh, wahala. Because you cannot, you cannot sit down. What the arrangement for today is, is that the leadership of the Senate is not the whole Senate. The leadership of the House of Representatives, the leadership of 360 members. The, this leadership we are talking about, there are less than 20. Would that, would that require the, uh, the need for DSS or whatever? So it's either that some people in government who are not in tune with what President Muhammad Buhari and his party are desirous of achieving for Nigeria are stoking all these unnecessary uh, controversies. They can go and meet elsewhere. If they, don't, if they don't need the mace yeah, to arrive at a gentleman, let us reconvene for so, 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 and, and so date. We have, uh, he has been in government before. I'm all, I've also been in government before. Mm -hmm. We know how this thing is done. Mm. It's not uh, you know, a rock, rocket science. Mm. But because some people want to create mischief in this country to portray the present government in bad light, they will do anything humanly possible because they know that well, the, an average Nigerian is... Exactly. Olufemi is on the line, and thank you very much for holding on all that while. Does Go ahead, please. Sense? Yeah. Please, my contribution is this. When Mr. Ben is talking of the DSS blocking the National Assembly, I think, uh, first, you have to know the reason behind it. About three or four days ago, some uh, senators, about 30 of them, APC senators, they are trying to reopen the National Assembly. And the policemen prevented them from reopening it. You guys did not talk about it, that police has done something good. <laughs> now, Salaki said this morning that they want to have a meeting with the National Assembly caucus. And you don't know what is playing out now. Let the DSS uh, spokesperson, let them speak yeah. out mm -hmm. and let us know the reason behind it. Mm -hmm. We should not just be condemning, condemning, condemning when we don't know the reason behind it. Exactly. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Because it doesn't make very much logical it sense. It doesn't make sense. Uh, Ken, you, you might agree that. Look, uh, nobody really knows for sure until the DSS spokespeople uh, speak. It's it's in the interest, well, if you want, of the ruling that, party have for you them to is that Dara does not have a spokesman. Tell me his spokesman. Who is Dara? The uh, tell me his spokesman. Who is Dara? Well, they have an official. Oh, you keep interrupting me. I don't the, like but, this. But, but, Let no, me finish this program. But, but, but when you are on this program, but, but just allow me with the floor. But, but, all, all these, all just forces, allow me with the floor. Uh, but all these forces have an official spokesperson. Does he have a spokesman? But the DSS itself has a spokesperson. Do they have a spokesperson? Yes, they do. Okay, who have you spoken to as a journalist? Well, have you heard any release from the DSS? Not, what not I'm so trying far. to say is, <laughs> this government has deliberately left it impossible for have, to have a contact person with, with a spokesperson. Are they not supposed to get in touch with the leadership of the National Assembly to tell them that it is not auspicious? We have security reports. We have intelligence that says that you cannot hold any meeting today. That's what is supposed to be done. You've called a meeting. And that's what you would have expected. That is what would have been done, yes. No, yes, and uh, that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. but, and that but, didn't but, happen. But, Moyo, please, yes. that's, one that's, second. That's, that's, let, let me quickly angry. bring in Mohammed. Yeah, Mohammed yeah, in Ibadan. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, hello, you just yeah. can't go and block morning, the National morning, Assembly. Morning, Mr. Mohammed. I think you, have, you can take the laws into your hands. Please go ahead. Yeah, my contribution is that why is it that this previous administration keep deceiving Nigeria? Uh, when Autumn, the governor of Benue State, he said from APC to PDP, they don't know the governor was owing salary then. It is when he stepped from their party to the opposition party, PDP. <laughs> they now keep blaming Autumn, he's owing some month salaries, yes. he's not doing well, the roads are not good. Yes. And now again to Sokoto. They arrested, I think, oh, no, sorry, from the family, they arrested his um, staff, I think he's, uh, one of his staff, sir, <laughs> they arrested him on EFCC. And then, now to Saraki issue. When Saraki defected from APC 
to PDP. They know this man is from PDP before. He's now joining the APC. When he was joining the APC, he was a good man. He's doing good. He's very, he's very loyal to Kwara State. Nobody known that the Kwara State is not is the, the, a bad infrastructure. It is when he now decamped to PDP. They are now keep raising the Kwara State infrastructure is bad. Is the, something is bad. Something and something is bad. APC people, we all agree that this thing is not good. And we believe APC are coming to transform it. Why are they blaming the masses and the people from the, their party defecting to PDP now? Mm. We all agree with the APC members, the Nigerian masses, agree that the Nigerian, even Nigerian economic is bad, is worse. We agree that Mohamed Buhari is coming to restructure Nigeria. And Buhari go to in, 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 in travel abroad saying we are jobless. 70% of Nigerian youth are jobless. He said he's even talking shit about Nigerians. While we did not vote Mohamed Buhari for this, we all be, he keep trying that President Obama just spent $20 billion on Nigerian power. Still is not improving. And he knows this. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Mohammed. Uh, you see, the, the, when, the, when people are criticizing APC, they will tell you uh, when he was with them, they never talk about it. What, are, what is the essence of friendship? The essence of friendship is not for me to be watching the dirty linen of my own friend in public. But the moment you become my enemy, uh, please, this is politics. And what politicians are striving to and votes from the electorate. Now, if, if you now expect me to say the man has done fantastically well. When I know that he has not done fantastically well. But, so, you, but you, you neglected to say so when he was, when he when was, he was your friend, guest. There's nothing wrong with it. You know? There's not, okay. it's, it's very, very human. Mm -hmm. So I will not sit down here and I'll be, I'll be apologetic about that. You know, we're moving into 2019, and that's yes. what this is all yeah, about. You've got, an, you got a political votes. barometer. You're, you're going to be seeing the thing rising. Uh, the formulas, uh, the calculus is changing by the day. Um, I, I wonder what the populace out there, the electorate, I wonder what they're to think. Because PDP is going to go, you know, asking for their votes. APC is going to go asking for their votes. Are you sure, are, are you satisfied with the clarity of the message that is being received out there? You know, my worry here is what you just said, uh, Uncle Yuri. The misery in this is, is an all-time high. It's 77.5%. It's never been this high, which is unemployment plus inflation. Let's, let's leave politics aside. We're still, by, we're still subsidizing fuel well at 145 naira. The, the, if the misery index is getting to 77.5%, APC government should be very worried. We, we saw what they said about poverty. I mean, we've overtaken India in terms of the poorest people in the world. The, I, didn't, I didn't bring those statistics. Those statistics are for everybody to see. Mm. What am I saying? I give an example, for example. Well, now we say we are selling Reminibi, for example, in the Central Bank of Nigeria. What is the trade balance between Nigeria and China? I, I might not be a student of economics, but for me to have your currency, there must be a balance of trade. <laughs> there okay. must be something I'm buying from you and you're buying from me. <laughs> and you say people are talking about foreign direct investment. There is no foreign direct investment. Yeah, but in, but in fairness, we are looking at no, agriculture. We are looking at agriculture. Balance. We are looking at we are looking at mines. I'm very happy. As an alternative means, I had a professor oh, look, called. Asante. I don't know why he doesn't let me talk. Uh, I've been on this no. program okay. over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've not had <laughs> a, a colleague <laughs> like you. You're not letting me talk. Call in Abuja. You should have allowed allowed me to talk at all. We'll sort out our When you're talking, I don't interrupt. Just learn to keep to it. Then you can always react. Mr. Kolade in Abuja, good morning. Well, you are Kolade. No, no, no. It's very wrong. You don't do that. You are going off track. Maybe I wouldn't have been on. We're holding up the program. Spoken like this before. Please. You don't let me hear my views. Good morning, my views. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much for calling in. Please. Thank you. You are doing well. You know this. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. You know, these are politics in Nigeria. Uh, there, are, there are no plain politics. The reason that how we are playing 
blind policies and do or die policies. Nobody talks about how Nigeria is going to move forward. If you see all these defenses, it's because of most of them, they know they are going to lose their constituency. They are not going to come back. That's a fact. And what I'm trying to say now, look at how far they are going to defend from PGP to the APC. A party of the use federal mind before, because he know that by 2019, he cannot win under PDP. That's why he's run to the under APC. But as you say that, Survivor Nigeria, we support to play clean politics. Look at Saraki, because of bad politics and people starting to decide to how can you provide a number three citizen to be involved in an armed robber? If it makes sense to anybody, it doesn't make sense. And I'm tired of this Quara uh, 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 politician or something like that. I don't want to talk of Quara. Let's play a clean politics. Don't let's play go or die politics. Mm. Politics in Nigeria is mm. good or die. All right, then. It's no good for us. Okay? Taraki is just ordinary human being like us. I want to thank you, Ken Okolubo. He's always my uh, pleasure. Thank you yeah. very much for coming in. And uh, uh, Madam Ahmed yeah. Moyosore Jaji. Uh, thank you very much, as gentlemen, in spite of having annoyed each <laughs> know, other. You, you know. you, you but, kept so, that's our program today. Please join us tomorrow. Fresh edition of the program. I'm Yori Folari. Hand you over now to the live feed coming in from Enugu.